Hi, I'm Maria Barantini, Pastoral Associate of Children's Catechesis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your Bible. So the first thing, kids, I want you to do is pick up your Bible. Whatever one you decided to pick up and read from, I want you to look at it. I want you to flip through it. I want you to explore it. So I'm going to look at it. Now, does this look really thick? Mm, mm, that print is very tiny. I'm only in second grade. I don't know if I can do this. I can't read this whole book all the way from the beginning all the way to the end. That's crazy talk. Well, you don't have to. The book isn't like, the Bible is not like other books. You don't necessarily have to read it from the beginning to the end. You can read it in small chunks. That's secret number one. I want you to start reading your Bible in small chunks. So we've got this big book. Well, it's a bunch of books all together. It's a collection of books. So there are things that are in the Old Testament and New Testament. There are books in both of them and they have different names and that's where you're going to find different stories about the people of the Old Testament and about Jesus and there are different books in this Bible. That's one of the reasons why it's so thick. Imagine you go, your, go into the library, get your favorite book series off the shelf. Well, there's lots of little tiny books over there, but they all go together, right? Well, that's kind of like the Bible. The Bible is a bunch of books that go together. There's ones that are in the Old Testament and ones that are in the New Testament. The Old Testament are the stories of the things that happened before Jesus. The New Testament are the stories that happen about Jesus and about his birth and about his life and about his death and then also about the church and those first Christians that spread the word of God to all those people. That's the New Testament. The next thing I want you to know is in your Bible, there's a table of contents, just like in any other book, like you're gonna go and find. So usually at the beginning of your Bible, about two to three, maybe four pages in, you're gonna find the table of contents. So on one side, we got the Old Testament books, so see, all the way down there, we got Genesis and Exodus, and then we jump to some of the historical books. We got Ruth and Samuel. You see there? Those are all the books of the Old Testament. And over here, we got the books of the New Testament. See, we have got the Gospels and the Acts of the Apostles, and then we have all the letters in Revelation. So those are the things that are in the New Testament, and these are the things that are in the Old Testament. So this table of contents is gonna be your friend you're going to want to take a bookmark or a post-it note and you're going to want to stick it on this page because you're going to want to use this when you're trying to find a book. So if I tell you I want you to find something and I want you to find Ruth, you're going to go on to the Old Testament. If I want you to find one of the Gospels like John, you're going to go over here. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.